Alyssa Murphy has been here before. And you've had infections in that ear. But not quite this bad. Yeah. It's just like a whole mess of things that you don't really want to deal with. Murphy suffers from allergies. We're just going to listen to lungs. And the smoky air she breathes is making things worse. I don't remember writing so many prescriptions for allergy and asthma medications as I've done in the last 10 days, ever in my life. Dr. George Bench says his patient load at his allergy, immunology, and asthma medical group in Stockton has shot up 30%. He says he's never seen patients endure this kind of long-term poor air quality ever before. This is new territory for us. Dr. Bench says there are some simple things you can do to keep yourself breathing better. So what's the doctor's advice if your allergy suffering is off the charts? What you've heard before, stay inside. If you have to go out, wear a mask when you go out, it will help some. Don't become overly dependent on a mask and think it's going to protect you. It cuts down on a percentage. The doctor also recommends flushing out your nose with saline, taking allergy pills, and purchasing over-the-counter steroid nose spray, but... Stay away from... This, the uh, afrin neosinephrines, which can burn your nose and have a rebound effect. I don't hear anything in the lungs at all. And that's a good thing. Hopefully these tips help you breathe a little easier. In Stockton, Kurt Rivera, ABC 10 News.